Hi everyone, I'm Jen Pike, the founder of The Simplicity Project and the creator of Simplicity TV. I'm here to introduce you to our Simplicity Summer Series. These are quick little inspirations and tips to create more simplicity in your kitchen, your home, your life, and your body. Today I'm sharing with you one of my favorite DIY sprays that I use to cleanse different areas of our home. So I use it in the kitchen, in the bathrooms, on our cell phones, around the doorknobs, really wherever you have any little germies that you need to pick up and take care of quickly. So this is totally natural base. There's no chemicals that we're using in this and it's very, very simple. You only need a couple of key elements. The first would be your bottle. So I'm gonna to recommend to you not to use a plastic bottle. I know you can pick these up at dollar stores and that type of stuff. These are estrogen mimickers and estrogen disruptors. So we wanna be free of any of those plastics in our life and in our home. So what we're gonna do is use glass. Now I ordered my bottles on Amazon. I love Amazon Prime because I can order today and receive it tomorrow and I got them in a three pack and I think I paid, I definitely paid less than $30 for these. And they already come with a nozzle and attachment. Now your liquid base is going to be fresh clean water. Okay, this is our reverse osmosis water that we've gotten. I've added just white vinegar to it. We'll give you the ratios and the recipe below, but I've got it here into my pouring instead of doing like the big jug of vinegar. And then I've got a funnel to make it even easier. I'm gonna pour this in first and then I'm gonna to talk to you about the three key active essential oils that I've chose for this blend. So funnel on top, you're just gonna slowly pour it in. And you don't wanna fill it right to the top. I would only gonna do about, about exactly the same amount that I poured in. It's like I planned this, guys. So I'm gonna pour it all the way in, make sure the liquid is all the way through. So now, if you can see, I've got room left at the top because I need to be able to put my oils in and then give it a good shake so it all mix around. So the first one that we've got here is lemongrass. Love the smell of lemongrass. Anytime you come into my home and I have a diffuser going, lemongrass is probably going to be one of those oils. The aroma is amazing, so that's what makes it nice to spritz down in your house. Antiviral, antibacterial, it's gonna kill the germs on contact. So I'm gonna add, in this size bottle, I'm gonna do about 10 to 15 drops of this. What I would say in the beginning is go 10 to 15. You're gonna mix all three together, see how it smells, Give a little spray, see how it works, and if you need to add more, then do it. Don't overkill your products when you're doing this in the beginning by just like dumping a whole heaping amount. Wild orange, again, beautiful in smell, deeply beneficial for antiviral, antibacterial properties. It's gonna help to clean everything up. So we're gonna put that in here as well too. All of these are also really good for your sinuses. So you might notice as you're cleaning your home that you start to feel that your sinuses unplug. Melaleuca tea tree oil, probably like the mother of all essential oils because it's so versatile in what we can do with it. But here again too, we know enough about tea tree oil, it's gonna kill bacteria, kill viruses, and it's gonna keep our surfaces nice, clean, and healthy. I'm only gonna add about 10 drops of this in. So I'm gonna add half the amount of the tea tree that I am of the other two because it is so powerful. I'm gonna drop those down. Oh my gosh, it already smells so incredible. You're not gonna smell that chemical. You know that smell, like I can't even walk down those aisles in the grocery store anymore where they've got all the detergents and all of the sprays. All right, now we're gonna test it. So I'm just gonna grab paper towel. I'm gonna find a dirty spot, which in my house is not hard because you know, I have children. Oh, let's actually turn it on. That's the spray. Then you're gonna have your stream option as well too. There we go. Cleaning up from breakfast. It smells awesome. I wish it had like smell vision so you could actually smell how good this is. And there you go, there's your DIY cleaner. So I would highly recommend that you put a label on your products when you're making them so that you know what area of your home you are working to create more simplicity and more ease in. I hope this gave you a quick inspiration on how you can start to simplify things in your kitchen, in your whole home, in your whole life. Wishing you more simplicity and more ease in all that you do. Have a great day.